Hello everybody, this is Zigzag Zob coming to you from somewhere in this world. And ahead of us, Operation Cursed Corpse, or Cursed Corpse, whatever your preference is on that word. Uh, we're going out into the wilderness on this one, the wilderness of the western U.S. It's a airlift out the supply crates and we're going to see if we can't get all 12 of 12 of them on this mission uh we did over infiltrate or we did spend intel to over infiltrate and get the enemies that were facing down to seven to nine and i'll tell you the biggest reason i chose to do it i know i was kind of having a hawing at the end of last mission well in the process of editing editing i did notice at the end of last mission i know we talked about the strength going up in the mission forcing it to 10 to 12. well i also noticed something else i don't believe we mentioned at the end of last mission, and that is the force level has also gone up. So we are prone to meet some new and more challenging enemies for us and our team. So, you know, uh, I thought better to face those more challenging enemies with, well, less of them. <laughs> I guess that's what I'm trying to say. So anyway, let's get ourselves down there. Advent forces are in the process of airlifting a number of supply crates out of this area, and we have an opportunity here to take a few for ourselves. Locate and mark the crates with transponders, and Firebrand will handle the rest. Okay, so we got crates way over here uh, to this side. It's, it's actually near the map edge over here, and we got to get past the, uh, the old tanks, the old... <laughs> weapons of mass well I guess they aren't mass destruction but the old battle tanks we're gonna get by them and see if we can't make this happen I have a feeling since we're so far away uh, we can be a little aggressive on our first couple moves of course there's always the risk of a drone or whatnot out there uh, let's see frog you're the one today that are leading the way you're my uh, shinobi for the day so let's get you moving J'y vais tout de suite. Didn't expect to see anything on this first move. I think uh, we're also going to be safe moving to the side of this building. So let's do it. Let go. Then we'll get everybody else following. Early on, uh, I would imagine they tend to be... Oh, what am I seeing here? Why is that a problem moving through that area when we technically don't see anything? That's interesting. Uh, so maybe we won't be quite well we'll be more, we'll be still aggressive in our move but maybe we'll just uh <laughs> i don't like seeing red you know you're going to be found squares like this that this that close it could be maybe we're sensing a drone somehow or the game's just bugging out and giving us advance warning but let's get everybody well, I don't know that we necessarily want to stand in the open, so we'll we'll bring everybody Let's since it's a yellow go. move and we won't be on Overwatch. Uh, we'll kind of move up to the edge Moving of the building far. instead. On the move. Vamonos! Das lasse ich mir nicht zweimal sagen. And indeed, it's a drone. Uh, so we got like an early warning system working on the drone. And I'm not really that excited about. Uh, wow, I guess we're 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 behind that log, and that's the only reason uh, we haven't been uh, revealed. I have to hope, or we have to hope, because otherwise we're in a crappy position. <laughs> Oh man, so what we gotta kinda try and do is uh, hope it turns here and goes around this thing and doesn't come back towards the building because we're kinda locked in place. So the moment the moment I say we, we have to be careful, or we, we don't have to be, shouldn't have to be careful right away, we do. And uh, we're gonna get everybody else uncarefully moving. As we try to get, oh wow, this is just uh, slightly bizarre. We have some high ground here near the battlefield area. I don't know that I necessarily want to keep my sniper all the way back here because there's, there's some nasty trees potentially in the way. 
Uh, but I think we'll try coming all the way around here with whoever we can. So in case the drone comes around the corner, hopefully we'll be okay. Well, that seems to be forward, f full cover if we go forward. So let's, let's give it a go. Now, if the drone turns around, uh, then we're dead. So let's kind of go in between. Like, and just in case the drone reverses course or something, we'll come over here. Because at least the mission isn't timed, and uh, we risk, unfortunately, right now getting activated way out of position to be able to mark enough crates. So that that's going to be awkward. Oh, wait, 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 wait. When we pick you, he does not see you, and you can move. So we are all good and clean and clear and wonderful, and that's one less enemy down on the battlefield if he keeps wandering around back here. So that's what we're going to hope for, at least. Tempo. Hmm. I guess we'll keep, keep kind of off in this corner in case it reverses course. We should still be out of range, I hope. Yeah, we should be. Double time. And thank goodness all the windows are broken out of this building. Oui. Oui. So we can make our escape. I run. Of course now we won't know where the drone is, but the good news is probably wandering around somewhere back here and you know we're supposed to have uh, location scout maybe that's why we got a little sense of it being over here and we can kind of see these activation squares uh, you know location scout must have something to do with that even though we can't quite see the drone itself but it's it's somewhere over here so I think it's it is now our time to get moving and motoring forward to get back to where we want to be on this mission so uh, let's get a blue move down here and Frog is back in charge, scouting out the map for us. And uh, uh, once again, we're getting some uh, detection warnings over here. So that's not normally the the way Location Scout works, I don't think. But I'm not. I guess I should not complain. Uh, we're going to go forward just a little bit, just because it's not a timed mission. I don't have to push it that far forward. But we're going to try a little bit to see if we can gain sight. Position confirmed. And we don't. So we'll 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 know that this is about the line we don't want to go past. So I guess we'll push up to these trees and whatnots uh, with our team right now. In fact. Might as well just plant you up here temporarily, Laser Master. I'm not planning to keep you up. I need you down to be able to help mark crates, but... Been by. Sounds like a good place for a sniper right now, doesn't it? A long approach. Now, Dave the alien... Well, you know, the, 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 there's a perk you'll eventually get. I think it's Trojan or whatever, where you can activate or hack this thing without activating and, and revealing everybody, that kind of thing. Aye, aye. It'll be nice when we can pick that up. And uh, that's one I often pick up. Because then also, uh, when the device comes off of being hacked or immobilized, it explodes a little bit. Position bestätigt. In early game, it can just blow up those beginning drones. So it, it's really a cool perk. How I got sidetracked talking about that, I do not know. I guess because we saw a drone. I'm going to try you over here, Alatriste. Vamonos! Oh, vamonos! And we got one more. Who, who am I missing? Oh, Dave the Alien. Okay. Bitte Feuerschutz. Overwatch. Aye, aye. All right. Um... It looks like whoever was over here, the red squares are moving away from us. The red squares of activation are moving away from us. So, Frog, we're going we're gonna to start creeping you forward a little bit. And I'm going to try a little more off in this direction so we can get some peekaboo looks off in that direction, too. 
Je rejoins la position. And we have not caught up to whatever is over here making those marks. Now, there's not really a, a reason to go too fast. Now we have two crates here that will need to be marked. And that could end up being, uh, Laser Master, that could end up being more your territory hanging back here. So you have the ability to potentially mark a couple crates. Um, I am going to push you just a little farther forward on this turn. Let's hope these guys do not reverse course on us. And why don't we just come straight here and see who we're, we're dealing with? There we go. And who are they? Well, don't pan away already. I saw an officer over here, and we got another drone out there and a trooper, so... At least those enemies don't seem very special, but that's only one pod. That's only four out of nine that we're aware of now. So, nothing to get too excited about yet. Let's see about getting others moved forward. Laser Master, we'll, we'll, we'll get you moved afterwards. Now, this wouldn't be necessarily a bad pod to activate first, just because we have... Uh, specialist to work on the drone and, and whatnot so I think we'll we'll kind of semi-aggressively move ourselves forward to try getting into place Orders confirmed. Moving out. even though there's no real time rush or time limit uh, that's that's opposed imposed on us Laser Master. That's a full cover. Of course, we don't know how they'd scamper and run, so we don't know if that's a good cover or not for us, but there's not a ton of full cover. That looks super amazing for us that you can reach. So I think... We'll just start, start out with this half cover for now. And then we have you, Gravedigger. It would be nice. There's probably, yeah, then there, there we can see it. There, there's usually a building at the back of this complex. That's where your skills with your device, your grappling hook, come in, come in handy. I think what I'm going to start with is, though, get you right here. And let's, let's get a good look at how they wander. Moving quickly. Okay, now they've kind of changed course. And you know, are we looking at a trooper and our a lone drone out there? Oh, there's a second lone drone. So now some of us uh, might just be. Uh, yeah, we can't technically see them, I guess. But because of location scout, well, kind of, we can. So I'm kind of thinking, uh, do I have somebody? Do I have a way? get up close enough to grenade these guys. I know some of us have grenades, and I think we need to just figure out who does. Now, I don't want to frog. If I don't have to use you, I don't want to. So we have back here, no grenades, except for a flashbang. Gravedigger, you do have a grenade. If I didn't have to use it for activation, I wouldn't, but we might. In fact, I could bring you up here, and we could probably, although, if they're by a crate, do these th are these things explodable by a freaking grenade? There's a question for you. It's not like I want to explode the, the things. Let's bring you over here. They seem to be wandering across the way here. So let's uh, try and get you close up to maybe where you can throw a grenade next turn, Gravedigger. Let's take a look at that. I move. It would seem Advent has begun deploying their so-called priests into combat. 
Okay. Their implants provide significant enhancements to whatever latent psionic energy they may have once possessed. So this is helpful for us to know that there's another pod very, very nearby. And now is probably not the time to activate with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven out there. And then there's another alone drone roaming in the hinterlands back there. So this is probably the map right now. That's the good part. This is probably the map that we have to deal with. We're seeing our first priest and our first stun lancer on this. And I was thinking maybe we'd even get a chance to see our first snake, but apparently not on this one. Not on this one. So I was right to be a little nervous about upgraded enemies. Uh, I do believe this would become a target to explode. Maybe we can draw them in to take this area as cover. Wouldn't that be a a cool kind of a thing. I'm leaning towards uh, bringing some of us forward. We may end up getting locked in place and end, end up having to do a mass activation in a way if I get too aggressive. But the cover seems decent enough. Now might be the time to, to set up for it. Vamonos! And if we can find a way to take out the team in mass, then the drone worries me. That that's the part. The drone could could expose us this upcoming turn. So that's why I'm leaning towards uh, let's get everybody positioned and let's get everybody overwatching. And I'm thinking corner cover here. Maybe we can keep you hidden and uh, surprise them when they don't know because I don't know where you are. So we have one, two, three right here, four, five, and somewhere, oh, there you are, and you. So, alien, it might be good to have you over in this direction near the drone. So I am thinking about coming here. Je confirme. I am thinking about coming here. Affirmative. And I'm really worried about having enough power and oomph to be able, you know, I think I might just leave you there in Overwatch. You can see a lot of them right now standing in the end. And the standing in the open shots, it's when they scatter and start taking cover that your shots are going to plummet. But I still think I'm going to keep you there, Laser Master. And in fact, I think everybody's moved. And we're just going to Overwatch everybody and see if we get exposed this turn by a drone. That's probably what's going to happen. Okay, please walk far, far, far away. Please. They're going to be real close when they scatter. And here's where we get exposed. It's going to come by the tree of Machine Hater. Here we go. There we go, and hopefully the other pod, we got lucky and it moved far enough away. Damn it, I missed the target. Doesn't look like we quite took down the officer, but we should be able to. We got the drone also. Oh, it looks like it looked like a hit to me. Rüstung wurde getroffen. And uh, we ended up getting flanked after all, but uh, we're probably going to end up needing that flesh anyway. Now, we, we got a number of enemies out there. We got this guy trying to go, aha, I'm flanking you, but he doesn't realize we have others here that, and we're going to go, aha, we're, no, you're the one flanked. Now, let's see. We killed one in that whole fracas that, that went by. I was so focused on us killing the officer, I wasn't paying so much attention to who we actually did kill. I'm just happy that at the moment, we don't have the priest to deal with. And I'm kind of leaning towards this shot right here to come over and just do a close range blast against the officer and eliminate the officer. That is plan number one, and we still keep, in the process, our run and gun. Now, we, that means we have to get rid of this guy now, too. But 
I think we have the tools to make that a reality. He's regretting, regretting his choice of cover right about now. <laughs> I do believe. And you know, I think we probably have the shots to take down that thing too, is what I'm thinking. Uh, what I'm planning to do with you, Gravedigger, is bring you over here to get to flank on the trooper. And then we got plenty of options to work on that drone and possibly work on that drone without having to use haywire. So if that other drone decides to arrive late to the party, we still have an option, an easy option, to try and take him out. So Gravedigger, come over here for the hit and run. And if you can be so kind as to do this in one shot, That was very kind of you. My weapon is almost depleted. Well, not anymore. That's why I wanted you to do it in one shot. Ready, weapon. Okay. Now, the only bad thing is to get you onto that close shot. It left you, Alatrista, in half cover for when these guys come running out. And I, I, I pretty much am expecting that to happen. So, I'm kind of thinking... 60%. He's a little a little on the close side to us. That's probably why you're only getting 60%. But since we have other options here, you got the first hit on the thing anyway, Laser Master. Let's see if you can finish what you started. There's my man. We like our new sniper. Okay. All is quiet. Now we know there's another pot of three up here, gets us up to seven, and we know there's another lone drone, gets us up to eight, and that may very well be all we're facing out here. Could very well be. Now the thing we have to start worrying about now is uh, crates, and crates getting marked, and all that kind of stuff. But I do think, uh, knowing we're going to have some enemies come towards us, I think it's important to take some full cover where we can a little bit closer so we can react to them when the opportunity arises. C'est comme vous voudrez. At points that should be safe and not activate them. Now, I, mean, I think I'm going to come right here instead of push up here because that's just beyond the line of where we're standing and why push that one step too far, right? Got it covered. Now that, that'll allow some overwatch, and in fact, I almost feel... Yeah, I think that, that looks like it's safe to push up here, so we're pushing forward a little bit on this side too for Machine Hater. Yes, come ish. And I think we need a little overwatch. From a number of us. I do believe you have a grenade. I, I, I'm not going to reload. I'm going to overwatch. And supplies have been marked. Let's hope it's nearby. Okay, and those guys did not turn around and come after us. So we have one right in front of us. Where's the other one marked? Hopefully it's not miles away. Let's go look back here. Okay, it's back relatively close. I'm all for that. In fact, since you have hit and run, I'm going to run you back here uh, to mark this one. Only a couple shots. I'm glad we, we gave you, I believe you have an expanded magazine uh, nearby or you're, that you're using, because don't you usually just have a four shot? I think we gave you an expanded magazine, and right now I'm very grateful for it. Uh, so the other option would bring uh, bring Frog back, but you know, I, well, I would like to have you farther forward too. Is there someone else maybe that can reach back here to mark it? Oh yeah, uh, maybe that's the way to go. Affirmative, moving out. Good work. Advent's locator is down and our transponder is active. Firebrand will handle the pickup. And I think we'll creep you forward a little bit here, Laser Master. Mark a crate while we're at it. 
Das kann ich machen. The only bad thing is your cover will disappear soon. But we'll keep you there for now and reload. Auf geht's! Now, uh, we got full ammo here. I'm gonna step over here. Actually, I'm gonna step right there to pick it up. And we got ourselves a laser sight. And uh, depending on how they activate, that is either full cover or flanked cover, but we're gonna stay here in Overwatch. Not evade detection. And I probably should not have overwatched you until I move everybody, but I, I, I don't think I'm really going to move everybody forward anyway. We're going to reload. And overwatch. And we do have to worry about reinforcements and about a five-turn timer, so we got to keep our eyes on that and try to keep moving and marking crates at some point. Um, since you don't have to reload, why don't we just come back here and mark this one anyway so we can keep pushing forward towards other crates. And uh, let's do that. Legen wir endlich los. And then, oh, full cover. And it's kind of in the line that we're at, so I don't feel like we will necessarily activate here. Oh, los geht's. All right, and uh, I think we're gonna stay put because a lot of us, uh, we, you won't have any support if you activate, so we're staying put. Good seat. Firebrand is on deck for recovery. Keep marking those crates, Menace One Five. Okay, any upcoming crates that we mark now are going to be all forward from us. We got one here. Yeah, so we, we got a lot of crates in the push forward zone. And we're going to have to do just that soon enough. So I, I do think we're going to have to, unfortunately, in the process of pushing forward and potentially activating. Well, oh well, we, we got to start doing it. And so far we're pushing and not finding, but better to figure that out now. Now where did I put you, Machine Hater? Oh, right there. Hiding behind that dark lump and we're going to do this far for you. In fact, while we're here standing, why don't we mark it? All right. Um, now, then now now is the time to move you back forward. So let's let's get you moving forward. Will do. And while we're in the process, uh, we'll just reload while since we can. Good to go. And then grave digger. We gotta get you positioned properly. And we're up to about that line. We're up to that line there. I like the idea of getting you forward near this so we can start using our, you know, grapple. But let's do it in... Let's do it in little bits of moves that hopefully keep us on this line moving forward. There we go. They're they're coming at us now. At first, Advent deployed non-lethal stun units for crowd control and the occasional protest. We don't see a whole lot of that. So anymore. that that actually ended up being a mistake because now we got some dangerous, dangerous enemies that are going to be able to be able to do stuff to us, and we are not within range to do our specialties to them. That is a little bit of a problem. Uh, we do have a sniper standing way in the open, but fortunately everybody he can see is, uh, well, the only one we can see. I, we can't even see the stun lancer from this angle. I don't know. There must be some tree or stump in the way blocking our view. We're going to give you the best shot we can give you. 
not on the most dangerous enemy in the world. And it looks like you went a little high. Nicht gut. Uh, what I uh, may do here, now we have a uh, grave digger. You're the one that activated the whole thing. And doggone it. And we're out of grapple range, so we haven't even quite closed in for grapples. And once again, we are just probably going to overwatch with you. Now, Machine Hater, where did I bring you, and who can you see? You can suppress. Now, area suppression will help against both, potentially. Now, suppression isn't the uh, like necessarily a major strength in this game, but since they're tough shots right now, let's try suppressing and maybe dinging up a stun lancer that's going to be running for us. And since you are exposed, Frog, well, we're also going to try and slow that stun lancer down if he chooses to run Attention against us. Lumière. All right, Gravedigger, I think we're just doing uh, probably Overwatch. I stand ready. In fact, a lot of us are probably Overwatching, and I, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, not, I'm not gonna Overwatch. See, the problem is, I don't think we're gonna have a good shot with any of these, not in the least, and uh, I'm not gonna waste it. I'm gonna move you. Essentially a little bit closer now the problem I have to the, that I'm afraid with the priest is he's gonna put us under some kind of stasis And this is gonna be a big bad ugly thing And uh, lower lower our numbers by one I guess we'll find out now He's gonna call a holy warrior or make a holy warrior of the advent trooper Lovely so now all of a sudden he's gonna be a little bit more dangerous towards us Okay, he's going to do that, too. If we're lucky, we just dropped the Stun Lancer, and that's big. Except we have a dangerous shot coming at us, and he doesn't need to explode that thing while we're standing right next to it. Okay. So we do not have a shot over there. My running gunner that I was really hopeful of is down. I was hoping for a one-two running gun flesh punch against the priest. That is going to have to wait now. And I do not quite have the running ability. And he has ablative because of this holy warrior thing. Oh boy, does he have the ablative. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. So we have several things to try and do. Mark crates. And we're near a couple of those objectives. Roger, tracking. Now, unfortunately, in stasis, revival protocol is not an option. Uh, it, it covers a lot of things, but not stasis. I'm leaning towards also running you a little closer, so if we have an opportunity to throw a grenade up here, we can use it. I don't think Overwatch is really going to do much for us. I could put somebody else under aid protocol, but we all got pretty good cover given the circumstances. So this is how we'll play it. Now we also have this guy that we can suppress. And with his 80 freaking aim, we just might need to do that. Now, do I have anybody on this side to mark a crate? I do, and then we could also then get to full cover. No flesh, but full cover. Bye, Jive. I mean, I could flesh, but I don't think flesh is going to be enough to chew through all that that armor 
and then I'm looking at you, Grave Digger. We could bring you over here and do probably a grapple over here and flank this guy. Well, and it'd be nice if we had somebody beyond that. Machine hater, do you have a grenade? No. And you're almost out of ammo, so there's going to be no suppression coming from you. So I think we got to we got to do a little bit of an aggressive move here. We're going to move up. He's not overwatching. Uh, we're going to move up so we can grapple. I prefer grappling on my first action. Uh, we're going to break that rule. Sometimes you just have to. No targets available. What's what's this right here? I haven't grappled yet. I don't understand why I cannot grapple right now. I do not understand why I cannot grapple. Holy smokes. And you only got 26% over there, which is bull crap. We can hollow target the Holy Warrior to help with our aim. But our aim, even with hollow targeting, is not going to be good. Holy smokes. And then you're sitting butt naked out open for this guy to hurt you coming up, Grave Digger. Because we can try this. To lower your your ab, you know, knock knock away some ablative from you, and uh, I guess we got to do that. It will be strong. And we got rid of the ablative, so I'm feeling a little better about doing this now with you. I'm very nervous, but our guy's standing in the open. The good news is we're picking up two bits of loose. Expanded magazine and a suppression. suppressor. And we're probably just going to do a Hail Mary 26 percenter because I, I can't think of anything else uh, with him being in full cover that we really can do to counter that. And then after that, it's just machine hater. And none of these positions get you close enough on the guy. So I guess we're going to get you closer so you can potentially suppress again. And so we'll come here and reload. And please. Oh, yeah. And in a way, since you don't have a good shot either, uh, I kind of want to advance you up anyway. Because, you know, we, we know there's a drone that's going to be coming forward at some point. And uh, why don't we play for that to happen and move you and set you in here? Yeah, boy. 26% was not worth taking a chance, I don't think. Oh, we got lucky on an 80% miss. Okay, the stars are shining in our favor, and lo and behold, look who's coming. Did I call that guy coming up behind us or what? Uh, we got to hope that Haywire is available and we're not too far away, and that we have some sight on that drone. We do not right now, and we don't gain sight. Okay, we can gain sight on the drone by coming here. And uh, that means we can get a little haywire going, and that's what we're going to try. On the move. And we're going for shutdown. Aye, aye. We're going to play it safe. Ya. Let's 
Yes, it would be fun to control it, but not at 44%. We're going for the shutdown. Thank you, Dave, the alien grinder, for protecting the backside. And we got reinforcements in two turns, so I think now uh, we're going to have to deal with one round at least of reinforcements uh, before I move anybody else. At least we have you back now, Alatrista, and we have you back over here. So we may be doing a flesh running gun combo over here and uh, trying to take down a priest big time. And do you have a shot on the priest also? No, but you have a shot over here against this thing, which we may just do. We also have you, Grave Digger, that comes inside for some flanking stuff also, and you have two shots. So maybe we try wearing him down first and coming in, I'm thinking, with the shotgun next to try and overkill him. Because if you overkill the priest by, I don't know, is it four? Something like that. Uh, he will not go into stasis and therefore not come back to hurt us. So there's no real flanking position that gives you any cover unless the distance of shooting is not that great. But let's face it, you do you would you would get two shots to weaken him down. I'd rather get cover where we can. I'm regretting that decision already. Okay. One of the two connected. And he's looking a little more fallible. Now, how much would your flesh hit for? There's the question. Hmm. So maybe... Maybe I have to go SMG with you to try and wear him down. Let's, let's bring you point blank SMG. And then we come in. Let's make sure you have your running gun and it can reach and all that good stuff. Then we do point blank shotgun for the overkill. That's what we're going to try. I'm really trying to keep him from going into stasis. That that that's that's my hope. And we'll give you this cover, not that he can't move and, and outflank us if he does go into stasis. Uh, we're gonna come right here. We're gonna make you shoot with your weapon, which is not, you know, always ideal. What we do? How much did we do? How much did we do? A crit! Down to one! Okay, now with the shotgun, we have a chance to knock him out so he doesn't go into stasis and then come back and have a shot on us. So let's run and gun. Well, it's door stable. And he's down and out with seven damage. We did our job. Okay, so now uh, we, we have a downed surveillance drone to work on. And I want to angle shot with you. I, and then we're going to mark crates like crazy. But before we do this, uh, can I call my reinforcement spot? I think I saw it come out where I wanted it. Oh, I guess this is good enough. This is Firebrand. Evac request confirmed. Hold tight. So we're going to have one turn of reinforcements. Let's take care of the drone, and then we're going to madly run around trying to uh, mark crates as best we can. And you two, well, let, let's start the, shot, the shooting with you. It's not a great hit percentage, but we're going to try it. Ziel getroffen, minimaler Schaden. 
this is where someone starts giving you a hard time that hey that drone is on the ground and you did good damage you you were sounded upset that you hadn't killed it or something uh let's see if we can finish it off and it's running around as much as we can until the Very good. Okay, now it's run, run, run. Mark, mark, mark. Uh, claim them for our own. Tempo. And next turn, reinforcements. Okay, we're, we're going to grab the farthest ones we can. And the reinforcement says one, and then it'll come over here. So technically we have two turns, I think, for reinforcements. I really do. So I think it's uh, important to just mark away at the moment. All right. Uh, Dave, the alien, what do we have back in this direction? Anything to mark over here that we can see? Well, we have this one. I'm rolling. And we have to get this one changed over. So, uh, Mr. Munoz, come do that one for us. And we want to bring you back over in our direction also. And how many more, more are there? We got one, two... We've got like one, two, three, four, five. There, so there's like one more out there that I have to find. There it is. Je suis déjà. And I think what we're going to do is uh, kind of pull back towards the exit zone where we can. Don't be that. We don't have to overwatch this turn for the reinforcements. We are kind of kind of centralized a little bit. And machine hater, we'll get you over here too. Everything should be marked now. Legen wir endlich los. Dann mal los. Okay, the reinforcements are going to be coming in upcoming. Uh, there's three more. We have them all marked. One, two, three. But this is something I don't think I don't think I've ever done. If I leave before they're officially e evacuated, do we still get them? Ah. To be quite honest, I'm not sure. Je dois pouvoir faire ça. Je passe en vigilance. Bereit für den Angriff. And we're just going to keep you here. We'll have plenty of others on Overwatch. Reloading ammunition. I am watching. Let's see where they come down. Looks like it might be behind the building back there. Three, including a stun lancer. My kin who remain bound. Yep, they're back there. Well, guess what? We took one down. It's time to go. And this is a constant flow of reinforcements, too, my friends. A constant flow that we are facing on this mission. So, I think we're all within range to get the hay out of here. I don't think any of them were able to set up yet on Overwatch. And we need to leave. Schon unterwegs. 
a great distance. Head in high. Jetzt komme ich. Complete. Okay, we're all in the zone, so while we're here, uh, everybody's far enough away that we can't see them. So let's just get the hay out of here and find out how much loot we got. And we got all 12, my friends. How about that? Ready up! All XCOM operatives are secure. Firebrand is returning to base. Very good, flawless. We needed uh, every every bit of loot that we got. Let's take a photo for this one. It felt good. Um. Oh, okay, we are all there. I just decided to do a zoom on two of us. <laughs> uh, did did we wear you out over there? Did we? Did we? <laughs> there we go. Good job, guys. We are wrath. We are woe. Pain is an illusion to the of the senses. Victorious Advent peacekeeping forces will be honored by the speaker this evening. All citizens without a valid work exemption are required to attend. All right, I saw most damage by machine hater. I saw most attacks. A laser master, Machine Hater Jr., 80% shot rate, which is not half bad. And uh, most under fire was Frog, and he also moved, moved the furthest. I wondered how the new gear would hold up, Commander. Looks to me like it's working out just fine. All right, looks like we uh, managed to finagle and work out uh, a, a promotion for two of us. Alatrista and Machine Hater. Let's go take a look at those. Now here's where I kind of went back and forth, not knowing uh, what exactly I wanted to do with you. I do like a trench gunner for, say, tower missions, but I find it very situational. 30% um, crit damage against adjacent targets, which is what we do a lot with your running gun, though. And uh, it would have been nice to have that extra crit bonus also on that last one. You know, now that we're going to be facing priests and we, we want to try to have better odds at overkilling so they cannot stasis and come back and harm us. So for you, you know, I, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pick up the close and personal with you. Maybe I'm skewed. But I also find trench gun situational too. It's nice to have a, a trench gun at least, maybe a couple out there. We're going close and personal. You've shown you're a damage dealer. You were able to take out a priest even without it. Now we're gonna make it a little easier on you. Machine hater, good work out on the field. Uh, we're going with formidable on you just because well, you actually took them out with area suppression. It's not all the time that I see enemies drop, especially, you know, a stun lancer. You just dropped them. Boom. No more an issue. Non-issue. We didn't have to deal with them. But normally, you're, you're, we have others trying to break your suppression, and you get shot at a lot. And that extra ablative that you get from Formidable is what we're going to take. There, there's the team. That was a good mission. All right, 68 supplies. We got alien alloys. More importantly, we got some Alarium crystals, a whopping seven of them. So that was amazing on this mission uh, that we got those. And then all three base level weapon attachments, which are very sellable if there's other things we need to purchase at the black market. All right, so good job, guys. Now, I did go ahead and I did, before we started, I had forgotten to replace someone that I had pulled from uh, Haven duty. So Haven has full personnel out there. I think what we still got to do is try to get some more missions queued up. I can't think of anything else we need to do in the interior. Uh, we have some Illyrium crystals to be able to 
continue building a laser weapon here and there, we have enough supplies to be able to afford to build one here and there. So Intel is the only thing at the moment that is of concern because we really need to expand to a third region in my mind so that we can spread around uh, our Intel scans uh, should we need to now with strength and vigilance rising in our first two regions. Okay, we got a mission here and we got a mission there. That's probably gonna come up next. Um, Uh-oh. And that's a lesson that you can't let them sit out there forever. Uh, we lost the ability to pick up the, the extra trooper that we found out here. I was hoping it kind of might linger around until we we did this mission and another well we'll know this time the next one pops up if we are at all interested we need to go get it we need to go get it uh let's get back up to the oh we're in the western uh, u.s let's scan and try to pick up a lib mission up here And free captured rebels. Once again, resistance personnel, resistance personnel, and a rookie. So, what's the time? Oh, only four days, three hours. So, we already have eight up here, but for four days, especially with the strength, vigilance. I'm, I'm not, no, we're going to have to ignore it. Going to have to ignore it. Okay, we got this mission up next, so we didn't find a new one uh, for 25 Intel, which we definitely do need. It's down to seven to nine. We have the Intel package that comes with it. This time, if we want it, we're gonna remember to go get it in a reasonable amount of time. It, it hung out there for a while, but we, we did let it sit too long. Let's just do a reminder. Now we could over infiltrate if we had to. In fact, why weren't we at strength three at one point and I thought both were at strength three at one point. So already uh, some strength has reshuffled around a little bit. And we're back there. So I don't have to over infiltrate this, which is good because this is the one I was intending to have to infiltrate coming up potentially. And now we don't have to. So I'll be back in normal intel that I was planning to be at. So I don't feel so bad maybe now. Uh, let me take a quick peek at this one. Now this one only has 13 hours. This is the one we're gonna have to over infiltrate. So there is one that I still will have to over infiltrate. So why don't we get this mission going? Right here, let's just take a peek at who the squad is that we're gonna take out next time. We got Drummix going back out as our Shinobi, our Corporal Shinobi. We have Spesh McList as our specialist because it is a hacking mission. We got Bondmate to Drummix, Blue Jay going out on this one as our technical we have gleaser going out as our ranger and boom shane boom vanson will be a sharpshooter on this one so we got two two pairs of bond mates on this one two pairs of bond mates how about that come join us next time i hope you enjoyed or as, as excited as i am that we got the supplies that we got much needed when we're trying to equip some laser weapons out there and understand not everybody's going to get one we will never have the funds to equip everybody with every weapon that we want uh, we will we will have to pick and choose but we at least now have the ability to do some of that pick and choosing this is zigzag zog signing off from somewhere in this world thanks so much for watching and i do hope to see you next time